again, um, just thank the Lord for this awesome privilege uh, that he bestowed upon me. Uh, the baptized brother Tim, uh, I consider it a great honor um, and a great privilege that you would allow me to be a part of this and be able to do this. And, uh, nothing excites me more outside of people getting converted than someone getting baptized and making a profession of faith. I want to just read a few verses to you real quick and kind of remind you of, of why we do this and, and, and what's the whole point of baptism. Uh, I'd like to point you to uh, Matthew um, 28. Uh, 19 through 20, Jesus said, Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Another verse here I want to share with you real quick as well. It is um, Acts 8, 36 to 38. Uh, it's where um, Philip had baptized the eunuch. It says, as they traveled along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, look, here is the water. What can stand in the way of my being baptized? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and Philip was baptized. So what can stand in the way of Tim being baptized? <laughs> right? Amen. Can someone take this, please? Nothing. So, uh, baptism is just, it's, it isn't salvific. You know, he doesn't go into the water to be saved. Okay, this is just an outward representation of something that's happened to him inwardly. He's been converted. So, in Romans 6, it says what? We've been planted in, in the death of Christ. It's really a baptism, a sign of going down into the grave and rising to the newness of life. And this is for the people of God. This isn't just for Tim. By the way, Tim will get baptized, but the reality is when he gets baptized in front of all of you, guess what? Now you are made accountable to him. You keep him accountable because of this profession today. So it's, 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 a, it's a corporate setting. It's for the local church. And you are invited to participate in this, not just to watch and be entertained, but to say, hey, I've seen it, and I'm holding him accountable to it. Because once you go down, you come up, right? It's, it, it's, it's a signal and a sign that you've been converted and that your life has died with Christ. And you've risen. you died to the old life and you've risen to the new life in Christ. So let's go ahead and get you baptized, shall we? Yeah, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, Christ came into my life really out of nowhere about three and a half years ago. Nothing... Mm -hmm. Nothing bad, so to speak, worldly speaking, you know, that was going on in my life. I wasn't a drug addict. I wasn't, you know, all messed up. Just one day, you know, God just laid on my heart convictions of, of the sin that was in my life. Um, and sin is sin. And, and I remember wrestling with it. Saying, you know, I, I love cuts. I love to get drunk. I, I, I won't change, Lord. You know, I can't change that. But he changed it. He changed it. I thank you so much for it. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank you for our time together. I just pray over Tim. I thank you for this brother. Lord, I pray that you continue to use him mightily. God, that you would make him a godly, godly, godly man. Father, get him, bless him with a long life. Cause him to be fruitful. Cause his marriage to be fruitful. And everything that he puts his hands to, Lord, to be fruitful, man. Lord, we just commit him into your hands and be glorified with this life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.